Are you thinking about moving to Plano, Texas? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So let's do this. Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Valera and today we're going to be diving deep into the great city of Plano, Texas. Now, a couple of things that we're going to be going over, obviously we're going to hit on some of the housing costs, commute times, schools, we're going to dive into a couple of popular neighborhoods in the Plano area. And the very last thing that we're going to be talking about are all of the attractions and city highlights and amenities in the area. So the city of Plano has just over 288,000 residents and covers 72 square miles. So it's really big. It takes a while for you to get from one side of Plano to the other. So for a single family home in Plano, prices start right around $250,000 and go all the way up to $5 million and beyond. There's some really nice parts of Plano um, that are very affluent. And new construction in the area starts right around the high $300,000 marker and goes as high up as you really want it to go. Property taxes in Plano are relatively less expensive than some of the surrounding cities um, with the property tax being around 2.04% as of 2020. And with Plano being such a large and diverse area, you can expect the same thing with housing from condos to townhomes to your traditional single family homes, homes with acreage, homes that are mansions in this very diverse area of Dallas. Now, as far as commute times go, we're gonna be talking about two areas. One is gonna be this North Plano hub, so to speak, that has really started to grow and develop and have businesses like Toyota and FedEx and a myriad of other companies that have moved their headquarters to Plano. Now, from the heart of Plano, you can get there in about 17 minutes. And if your commute requires you to head into downtown Dallas, you can expect a 25 to maybe 30 minute drive, depending on traffic and time of day, obviously. And there are two major highways that will take you to downtown. If you live on the west side of Plano, you can hop on the Dallas North Tollway and take that into downtown. And if you live on the east side of Plano, Highway 75 gets you direct access to downtown as well. The schools in Plano are obviously Plano ISD, Niche.com gave Plano ISD an a rating and it's ranked 12th out of all the other school districts in the great state of Texas. Plano is ranked 8th in all of DFW and is actually ranked 15th out of the entire state in regards to diversity. It also has a 95% graduation rate and has a 14 to 1 student to teacher ratio. And in Plano there's more of a city vibe versus a country vibe. All right, so next we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the top neighborhoods in Plano. So the first neighborhood is called Deerfield. Now, Deerfield is one of my favorite, favorite neighborhoods. So there are about 733 homes within that community and it's located on the northwest side of Plano. Now, the reason that I really love this community is because they are known for their Christmas light displays and they have myriads of people just come and drive around and take a look at all of of the Christmas lights around that time. So most of these homes were built in the early 80s and late 90s and the prices start right around the mid 400s and then go all the way up as high as $800,000. The next neighborhood on my list is the Indian Creek community, and it surrounds the clubs of Prestonwood Golf Course. It's located on the far west side of West Plano, like as far west as you can go, and just north of the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve. So they started building these homes in the 1980s and finished building in the late 1990s. And prices here start in the high half a million dollar range and go all the way up to just under a million right in that $900,000 price range.
The next neighborhood on my list is Willow Bend. And Willow Bend is one of the most expensive neighborhoods in all of Plano. It's located on the east side of the Dallas North Tollway, which is in West Plano. And most of the homes are gonna have swimming pools and tennis courts and very large estates on them. And some of the homes even back to the 18-hole Glen Eagles Golf Course and Country Club. Prices in this neighborhood start around the mid 400s and then go all the way up to that $5 million plus price range. Out of all the areas and places to live in Plano, this particular neighborhood has the most unique architecture, most beautiful landscaped properties, as well as beautiful water features in and around the community. And lastly, I wanted to share with you the newly built Windrose Tower at Legacy West. These luxury high-rise condos are located just south of 121 in North Plano. The tower is within walking distance of the shops at Legacy and it is very, very close to the Plano Business Hub there in North Plano. So it could make an easy commute to work. Prices for these condos is no joke with prices right around a thousand dollars a square foot starting at half a million dollars and going all the way up to the five million plus range lastly i want to share with you several of my favorite places to visit in plano so if you're ever in plano make sure you check out these iconic places First up is the Texas Pool. Now the Texas Pool was built in 1961 and it was recently named a historic landmark just this past year in 2019. It was named the first Texas shaped pool in Texas. And also this unique historic landmark is about to turn 60 years old. Happy birthday, Texas Pool. The next thing historically that you wanna go take a look at is the newly refurbished historic downtown Plano. This revitalized spot has taken urban to the next level with access to the dart rail, many unique restaurants, many sweet boutiques, office spaces, and even housing if you're interested in more of an urban lifestyle. Almost every night of the week, the streets are alive with many festivities and activities. And if you're looking for food and culture, you definitely need to make a stop here in historic downtown Plano. Next on my list to go take a look at are the shops at Legacy. This 3.5 million 255 acre mixed use development is taking luxury to a whole new level. With a myriad of fine dining options, luxury boutiques, department stores, and even housing, it's a great area to get out and explore. The area is most famous for its Legacy Hall building. This three-story unique building is filled with many unique restaurants, bars, and even live music on an occasion. It's a great place to go with your family and just hang out. Next on my list is the Boardwalk at Granite Park. This unique boardwalk boasts of unique foods and flavors. There are places for kids to play, excellent views, fire pits, and some of the best drinks that you'll ever have. This makes it a very comfortable and relaxed space to go out and hang out on a Friday night. Next on my list is the Oak Point Park and Nature Preserve. This 800 acre park is the largest in Plano. The park offers three and a half miles of concrete trails and five miles of soft trails, many of which are located along Rowlett Creek. The lake is open to kayaking, canoeing, and stand up paddle boarding from sunrise to sunset. The annual Plano Balloon Festival is held here every year. The event is open to many vendors and offers hot air balloons, fireworks, and even skydiving. It's also very common to see many walking and running activities 
in Oak Point Park. Many 1Ks, 5Ks, half marathons, and even relays have been held there. Last on my list is the 200 acre park, Arbor Hills Park and Nature Preserve. Located in West Plano, it offers three miles of paved trails and three miles of soft trails. A 2.8 mile off-road bike trail, restrooms, many pavilions, and even a playground. Both Oak Point and Arbor Hills combined would be larger than Central Park in New York City. Well, that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about Plano, don't hesitate to reach out, call me, text me, email me, whatever works best for you. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Complared from condos to townhomes, this graduation, okay.